Welcome to HOA Minutes, brought to you by HOA Start. I'm Wendy Larson, your host. Today we'll be discussing how to categorize HOA fees in QuickBooks. Homeowner Association, HOA, fees can be tricky to manage, especially when it comes to accounting for them in QuickBooks. Fortunately, with a few steps, you can set up a category for your HOA fees in QuickBooks and ensure accuracy when tracking and reporting those payments. In this guide, we'll explain why it's essential to categorize HOA fees correctly in QuickBooks and provide detailed instructions on how to set up the category. We'll also discuss common mistakes to avoid when creating an HOA fee category in QuickBooks and explain how to record payments from homeowners. When it comes to managing HOA fees, accuracy is key. Incorrectly categorizing payments can lead to inaccurate reporting, which may put your business at risk for non-compliance with tax regulations and other related requirements. By setting up a dedicated category in QuickBooks specifically for HOA fees, you can ensure that the payments are tracked and reported accurately. This can give you a clearer picture of your business's financial health, help you identify possible issues quickly, and keep your website software with accounting processes organized. What types of information do I need to set up an HOA fee category in QuickBooks? Before you can create your HOA fee category, you'll need to gather the following information. The name of the account. The account type. The account number. The description of the category. This information is critical for correctly setting up your HOA fee category and ensuring that payments are tracked accurately. What category should I use for HOA fees? When setting up an account for fees in HOA software QuickBooks, it's important to use the correct categories. Here are some of the most common. Monthly dues. Annual fees. Special assessments. Late fees. Legal fees. Insurance premiums. Maintenance costs. Interest payments. Property taxes. Transfer slash application fees. Determining what fees to include in each category depends on the type of items you are tracking. For example, if you're tracking monthly dues only, you could just create one monthly dues category and track all payments. What should I avoid when setting up an HOA fee category in QuickBooks? When setting up an HOA fee category in QuickBooks, there are a few categories that you'll want to avoid. Here are the most common mistakes to be aware of. Don't use multiple accounts for tracking payments. Instead, create one dedicated account for all HOA fees. Don't use an account type that does not match the purpose of the payment. If a category is used for tracking income, choose income as the account type. Don't forget to enter a description. Adding a description helps to ensure that payments are tracked accurately. Don't forget to save. Make sure to click save after each entry in the register so that payments are recorded correctly. This will also help to avoid any potential mistakes. Categorizing HOA fees correctly in QuickBooks is essential for ensuring accuracy and compliance with tax regulations. It's important to gather the necessary information before setting up an account, use the correct categories, and avoid common mistakes such as using multiple accounts or forgetting to save entries in the register. If your current HOA website doesn't have all of these features, take a few minutes to check out HOA Start. Check out one of our demo sites, or sign up for a completely free 14-day trial and experience our full feature set for yourself. This is Wendy Larson with HOA Start. Bye for now.